hello guys how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a camisole the camisole you wear um, inside a butterfly dress or a booboo gown that is revealing okay so these are the measurements we'll be working with the shoulder measurement the bust measurement waist hip the length of the dress chest line neck depth and neck weight so let's dive into this tutorial so see that i have folded this fabric already the basis of folding this fabric is the biggest measurement you are working with so for this measurement here the hip is the biggest measurement i'm working with so i divided the hip by four then plus extra four inches that is what i folded here so okay. the first thing i'm going to do is to come down by two inches from the edge of my fabric and i'm going to connect it with an horizontal line after that what i'm going to do is to mark the length of the dress i'm making so the length of the dress i'm making is 41 inches and i'm going to mark it all the way and connect it with an horizontal line So after that, I'm going to mark the neck depth and the neck width. So the neck width I'm working with is 4 inches and the neck depth I'm working with is 5 inches for the front. Then the neck depth I'm working with for the back is 2 inches. So the front and neck depth are not the same. So I'm going to mark it like that. And I'm going to connect my neck curve. Okay, I'm simply coming in by 0 0.75 so that I can connect my neck curve very smoothly. So after connecting the neckline, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure my shoulder. The, so she, the shoulder I'm working with is 15.5 divided by 2. I have 7.75. So I'm marking 7.75 on my shoulder line. So from this point, I'm going to come down by 1 inch that will serve as my shoulder slant. And I'm connecting it like that. So from this shoulder slant, I'm going to measure my chest line. The chest line I'm working with is 8 inches. Then I will mark 8 inches all the way so that I can have a straight horizontal line. So after marking this, I'm going to measure down what I have on the my shoulder line so that I can connect a straight arm bow line. If you wash my basic bodies, all this won't be new to you. So after that, I'm going to measure the waistline. The waistline I'm working with is 17 inches. I'm going to put it down like so. And I'll connect it with an horizontal line. So the next thing I'm going to mark is the hip line. So from the waistline, I'm marking 9 inch for the hip line. So it varies. Some people their hip line is 8 inches from the waistline. So the measurements I'm working with here is 9 inches from the waistline. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to mark my first circumference divided by 4. So the best circumference divided by 4 is I have 10 inches, so I'm going to mark 10 inches then plus 1 inch is allowance and 1 inch same allowance. Then at the waist, the waist measurement divided by 4, I have 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 
you are marking 8.5 on the waistline plus extra 2 inch is the allowance and 1 inch same allowance then at the hip line I'm going to mark hip measurement divided by 4 and a half 10.75 for the measurements I'm working with it I'm going to mark 1 inch is allowance so I'm going to bring down what I have on the hip line at the M line so I have 11.75 Person to be able to walk freely. So this is the break down. So whether you add that or not, person will be able to walk freely. I just want to add that to make sure that the down is as free as possible since it will be one under the butterfly down. So I'm going to connect the ankle line. So simply getting what I have. on how to draft a basic body so you understand all I'm doing. So from this point I'm coming in back 0.5 inches then I'm going to connect it. This is very simple. It's beginners friendly. So guys I'm going to add 0.5 inch joining allowance at the shoulder. That is the only way only place I'm going to add joining allowance for the arm oh, i'm not going to add any joining allowance because this is a sleeveless garment okay it's still going to be okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out as you can see that i have cut this out so i fold the fabric again so that i can use it to cut the back okay let's do So guys, you can see I have cut the back, then I'm going to open up, I'm going to cut out the front neckline, yeah. So guys, you can see that I'm done cutting out both the front and the back. This um, camisole is a free dress, it does not have a zip at the back. So you have different ways of finishing the armhole and the neckline. You can use your bias to turn the neckline and the ample or you can cut out a facing for this so i'll go ahead and cut out a facing for it so the length of where the my facing is going to end will be from the ample from the ample two inches downward so that is where my facing is going to end so for the sake of the beginners let me explain how to cut a facing so my facing is going to end two inches below my ample so and um, the total length of the fabric i cut out for this person is 12 inches and this is the fabric here so i cut out 12 inches length okay then the width is the same with this so i'm going to quickly put it under my fabric to cut out this facing okay so i'm going to put it like this going to pin it down and yes I'm going to cut out my facing very easy and I'm also going to cut it out on the ankle So I'll do the same thing for the back. So guys, you can see that I have pinned this facing, right side facing each other on both the front and the back. So I'm going to go ahead on my sewing machine to sew the neckline and hole. I'll do the same thing for the back. Then I'll turn it out, give it a good press. Then I'll be back to show you guys. So guys, I am done turning in the facing 
so this is the front and this is how the facing looks and this is the back so i've also given it a good cross what i'm going to do next is to join it at the shoulder join it at the side seam i'll also hem it down and yes our camisole is ready so guys we've come to the end of this tutorial this is the outcome of the beautiful camisole we just made thank you very much for watching to the end if you've not subscribed to my channel please kindly do so i will go ahead and put it on the dummy so that you guys can see the outcome stay tuned